Hello. In this video, we are going to be going through this magazine that I got in the mail. This is for um, the clothing company LL Bean. It says feel great out there. It's never been easier to dress for the weather. Our most versatile styles bring comfort and confidence to everything you do outside. Okay, and this is the Best of Spring magazine, which is weird timing because this looks like winter clothing. So cozy. Sherpa lined hoodie. They are a bit pricey, but I bet it's made well. It's $89. Oof. I've actually never been to an LL Bean store like in person. Here we have the ultimate sweater fleece. It says ultra soft brushed premium fleece knit for cozy warmth and comfort at an unbeatable price. Starting at $69.95, petite to plus sizes. So we have these vests here and then the, the full length sleeve. Um, fleeces. And these look like longer coats that probably go down to, like, your knee. I like this one. That one looks cool. Very wintry. And then... Oh, she's wearing one of the fleeces. Quilted sweatshirts. I always love the way this fabric looks. That's a pretty color. Rose wash. Gray lavender is also really pretty. Let's see. If you hear, um, like, noise in the background, my cat is using the litter box. <laughs> so it will sound like her litter. These, the quarter zip is 79, the full zip is 89, and the mock neck solid is 89. Yeah, still these look like um winter clothing, even though it said spring, but these look super cozy. Can't go wrong with a flannel in the winter. Kind of goes with any jeans or any look. And it's good for layering. Like this is a good base layer and then you put the jacket on top, you know, or your fleece on top or whatever. And these are, I think, starting at $60. And now we're getting into shirts I guess this looks a little bit more spring like you know for that period of spring when still kind of transitioning into the warmer weather, but you still have a little breeze outside. It's not super heavy and insulated, but it's just enough of what you would need. I love that. These are really cute. These remind me a lot of the um, vintage sweaters you can usually find at thrift stores. And I love that color pink. They have jeans too. Cute. Cat 
cashmere, very fancy. Is cashmere... What is that? Is that wool? I'm not sure. These look so soft, though. The crew neck is starting at 119 And the most expensive one is the open cardigan, and that's 189 I believe that's this, but I could be wrong. Ooh, I love a cargo pant. Classic cargo in the softest, most durable stretch cotton made to move with you through the day. <laughs> That's cute. She's wearing like a denim, I guess that would be, it looks like a denim button up underneath. That seems like that would be extremely uncomfortable to wear the denim layer underneath. Don't usually put like a softer cotton underneath and, and oh, sorry my cat's meowing hold on okay sorry about that i had to go get my cat but anyways i think i was talking about how done and make like looks uncomfortable for underneath but anyways cute Ooh, that's an interesting Look, I don't know if I've ever seen that before, where it's like the, uh, the cable knit sweater, but, um, it has, I guess it has a hood? They're calling it a funnel neck. Okay, it has a funnel neck with the little drawstring. That's interesting. I've, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that, but I kind of like it. I love that green color. These very earthy tones. It's cute. Got some jeans. I like these, actually. Made from an innovative blend of cotton with Cool Max polyester for advanced moisture contro control friendly tensile lyocell and a touch of elastane for stretch mm, light enough to wear in every season the fabric is exceptionally rugged and amazingly cool we have skinny leg pull on straight leg and boot cut what is the difference between straight leg and boot cut It looks exactly the same to me. I've never, maybe I'm just ignorant with fashion, but I've never understood. How is that different? Those look like exactly the same, but just a different color. Maybe that leg is a little bit wider, I think. Just some plain t-shirts in different styles, tank tops, turtlenecks. Three quarter sleeves. These look so comfy. I love fleeces. Fleeces have to be the most comfortable. because they're not super thick, at least the ones that I've had, but, um, these look great. And I love, um, this, the warm gold texture geoprint, and then we have the faded jade texture geoprint. Those look really cute. I wish they, um, put those out on display so you could see what the full print looks like. But I love that, um, color pattern. And the solid is 109, and the print is 119 for the jacket version. These are, these are cool. They're like, um, 
little fleece like they're kind of like sweatpants I have um a sweater like this it's very lightweight but kind of what this says here great for um if it's a little chilly outside but you want to go for a run or you want to go for a walk you know you're going to get sweaty but it's still cold so you're kind of in that in-between area it says excellent while working outside and while relaxing looks great very flattering fit feels great and is super cozy i believe i believe that's 69.95 and then we have, these are like yoga pants and tights. These are cute. These look so cozy. They call them the perfect fit pants. It says, cling free comfort, stay true color, and stretch that won't stretch out. These pants are the perfect fit for absolutely everything. All styles except leggings have pockets. That's nice. Let's see. We have these sweatshirts and hoodies with the um, brand name LL Bean on top. these again, the fleece lined flannel, so cozy. Some more sweatpants, or I guess they're calling them joggers. I guess that would be the word for them. Stripey sweatshirts. I've never been a big fan of stripes. These, um, I like this one. Not too bad. And then black and white, it actually looks good. Or that's navy and cream. Ooh, okay, we have some robes here. Cute, look how cute. like little bumblebee or honeybee um slippers this looks very old-fashioned reminds me of like um like 60s robes some flannel pajamas it's cute And then these are for men, it says. This fleece lined robe looks fantastic. And then we have some PJs, boxer shorts here. I love the plaid. An organic cotton robe. Plush robe. It says it's the same material as the Wicked Plush Throw, which obviously I'm assuming is a blanket that they sell. And now I think we are getting into men's clothing. So we have some t shirts again. Jeans. That looks really nice. It's like a fleece lined um, denim jacket. That looks so nice. Some khakis here. Our innovative fabric shakes off wrinkles and stains. These best-selling chinos feature a superior combination of softness and durability. Made of satin and wrinkle-resistant cotton, line, lined, ha 
has cotton flannel lining. Hidden elastic panels for all day comfort. That's nice. These are nice flannels. Love that immediately. And that. Some more flannels. These look cozy. Use a heavyweight Portuguese camoa. Is that camoa? Oh gosh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Camoa flannel fabric that starts out soft and just keeps getting better with age. Distinctive details include the original angle flap, angled flap pockets, and durable cross stitched buttons. Cute! Ooh, I love that. Some more sweaters. These are wool sweaters. 100% lamb's wool. Some more jeans. We've got a couple different colors. Regular denim. This is like a burnt orange. Darker denim. And this um, foresty green color. More flannels and more sweaters. Sweatshirts. These are basically the male version of all the ones we already went through. That's why I'm going a little bit faster because I think we saw the same quilted um, sweatshirts in the other section. And similar pants as well. Heavyweight sweatshirt. This one is like um, solid on the outside and Plaid on the inside, that's cool. More flannel. Looks like cargo pants. Isn't he the model from the cover? Yes, I believe that is the same guy. It's like a nice corduroy um, shirt that looks very nice. Waffle Henleys. These are cozy. Lofty Sherpa fleece with a super soft touch. Polyester fabric is blue sign approved to help offset impact on the environment interesting. I wonder if they ever um, go into more detail what exactly that means. I like this pattern. Switching over here, sorry. Some shorts as well. I don't think they had any shorts options for women, did they? Maybe I just didn't see. More fleeces. My um, fridge just turned on, so you might hear that. Yes, more fleeces. Another vest. Some more cool patterns. some down outerwear, some vests that they're wearing, and then the full length jackets. These look super warm. Chest and upper back lined with fleece for extra warmth where you need it most. 100% recycled polyester. Cool 
Cool Weather Classic, low puff puffer, warm enough for the cool days, and easy to layer when the chill sets in. Yeah, so the, I guess these are like puffer jackets, but they're not super thick, so like they said, you can layer it, which is nice. These are so cute. I, if they weren't so expensive, I feel like I would love to buy these. My gosh, they are pricey. Like I said, they're probably very well made, so it's probably pricey for a reason. Our most versatile down jacket. With a weather resistant shell on the outside and premium down insulation on the inside, it defies cold in comparison. Lightweight, water resistant, packable. The hooded jacket is $249, the regular jacket is $229. Oh my gosh. Same people as the cover. Down vest, pull off your fleece. Smore vest. These look super cozy. I love the screen. Sherpa fleece over there. Ooh. Fleece lined Prima loft coat. Jacket and vest. Weather protection style and cozy fleece warmth. All at a very comfortable price. That looks nice. It's like a puffer on the outside but fleece on the inside. And with this one it's a little bit longer. Now we're getting into like some other random items. These are base layers, for probably for what's sleeping in, or just putting as your under layer for all of the winter clothes on top. These look very cozy. Pants are 69. Got some hats, gloves, and socks here. These are wool hiking socks. And some insulated gloves. Got some shoes. Very interesting look to these shoes. I never understood what exactly this type of shoe is for. I assume just because it's waterproof. Like, is that the appeal? Is that why they look like that? I don't know. Hmm. Some other hiking boots. We have snow boots. That does look comfy. Very, very useful. You don't want your feet getting wet when it's cold outside. You will be miserable. Looks super waterproof. High tech all leather boots. Mmm, the fleece lined one. Got like some slides or um, slip ons, I guess would be the word. More boots. the rain boot. Kind of making them look like vans now. Yeah, they're called duck boots. Some regular 
hiking shoes. These almost look like running shoes. Dirigo sneakers. For men and women are softest sneakers ever. Lightweight, breathable, no seam technology upper. The world's coziest slippers. I believe it. These look very cozy. Oh my gosh. Lined from ankle to toe. The 100% premium Australian shearling for ultimate softness. Ranges from 89 to 109. Okay, everybody, that is the end of the magazine. Thank you all for um, listening to my video, and I hope it got you very relaxed and sleepy, and I hope you enjoyed. Good night.